On his first day returning as DeKalb County's chief executive officer, Burl Ellis did not skip a beat, continuing the progress he's focused on since the start of his first term in 2009. He began the day with a press conference. We are here to finish the job we started. We said that we would make the citizens' priorities the priorities of this county government. Our task uh, for the next couple weeks plus is going to be straightforward and direct. We're going to make sure that county operations continue in the way that our citizens expect and deserve. CEO Ellis hit the ground running on his first day back. Committed to serving the people of DeKalb County, he attended back-to-back -back meetings while still making time to visit DeKalb seniors. Indeed, one stop included an energetic visit to DeKalb's Lou Walker Senior Center, where CEO Ellis received a very warm welcome and got in step with a little line dancing celebration. This is a victory shot! There were several more hugs and handshakes for CEO Ellis at a meeting with the Fulton DeKalb Hospital Authority in downtown Atlanta. Right in step with his innovative and responsive leadership approach, he gathered information on the pulse of healthcare needs in our community. We're all here to serve. And as expected, there were more hugs and handshakes for CEO Ellis at the Derwin Brown Memorial Building, which serves as DeKalb's South Police Precinct, where the mood matched the jubilant holiday party gathering. CEO Ellis remains committed to making sure DeKalb residents continue to receive quality services. He stands ready and prepared to address any emergencies that may arise. He's also gearing up to host his Community Hero Wars to salute DeKalb's unsung heroes for the fifth year. And after years of right-sizing and restructuring government, empowering neighborhoods, and reducing millions of dollars of government spending, he's now ensuring the best possible handoff to our incoming CEO-elect, Michael Thurman. We're going to ensure an orderly transition to the new administration so that Michael Thurman can hit the ground running on January 1st. And if the remaining days of his term mirror the pace of his first day back, there's no question there is much more in store from the Ellis administration.